Hey Pinksters, today we will be learning how to extend a NumPy array in Python. Now extending a NumPy array means you want to add more elements to the array along the rows or the columns or both. So let's try to understand the question with the help of an example. Let's say that we have a given array which has the elements 1, 2, 3 and 4 distributed across rows and columns. Now you want to add certain elements to this array such that it looks something like this. So this means you want to add more elements apart from 1, 2, 3 and 4 such that those elements will be distributed across rows and columns wherein if you have a look you'll find that we have the elements 5, 6 and 9 distributed across the third row and the elements 7, 8 and 9 distributed across the third column. So this is the extended array that we want as an output. So let's dive into the different approaches which will help us to extend the given array and generate the resultant array which will look something like this. So let's say that we have imported the NumPy library and then we formed this given array and stored it in the variable ARR. So ARR is the given array. And before we proceed further, let's print ARR and let's find out the structure of the given array ARR. So there we go. As you can see that we have an array which has two rows and two columns. Now we want to extend this array such that this array will look something like this. So if you have a close look here, then you'll find that the elements 5 and 6 are getting appended at the third row and the elements 7, 8 and 9 are getting appended to the third column. So we have to find a way such that we can append 5 and 6 to the third row and we can append 7, 8, 9 to the third column. And we can do that with the help of a method of the NumPy library known as append. So the append method of the NumPy library appends values to the end of a given array. Now it also accepts an optional axis parameter which allows you to append arrays along a specified axis. So that means when the value of axis is zero, elements will be appended across rows. And when the value of the axis is one, then the elements will be appended along the columns. So let's try to visualize this with the help of our code. Let's first go ahead and append the elements 5 and 6. That means let's first go ahead and add elements row wise. And to do that, let's say ARR is equal to NP and then we will be using the append method and within append we will pass certain arguments. The first argument will be the given array itself. So that is ARR itself. Now the second argument will be the elements that we want to append. And in this case, we want to append the elements 5 and 6 along the rows. So 5 and 6. Now we have to specify the axis along which 5 and 6 will be appended. Now as we can see that 5 and 6 has to be appended along the row. So you have to specify the value of axis in the third argument as 0. So 0 indicates that we want to append the value along the row. Well, that's it. Now we simply go ahead and print the resultant array. Now let's go ahead and check if we have successfully extended the array such that it has the elements 5 and 6 appended to its third row. Let's execute this. And there we go. As you can see that we have successfully appended the values 5 and 6 to the third row of the given array. Now our next task is to append the values 7, 8 and 9 to the third column of the given array. So we can do that using a similar piece of code such that after appending 5 and 6 to ARR, we will use the append method once again upon ARR such that we will pass ARR as the first argument. The second argument will be the elements that we want to append. So the elements that we want to append now are 
7, 8 and 9 and we want to append these elements along the columns. So this is how we tell Python that we want to append the elements along the column. The value of axis will now be 1. This is because 1 indicates that the values will be appended along the columns. So that's it. Now we simply go ahead and print ARR. And now when we execute this piece of code, this should be the output. So let's execute it and find out if we have the output or not. And there we go. We have the expected output. And this is how you can use the append method to extend the given array. The next way to solve this question is to stack the elements along the row and column. So the NumPy library provides us with few helper functions that help us to stack elements to a given array along the rows and columns. So we will be using those helper functions to solve this question now. So let's say that we want to stack the elements 5 and 6 along the rows. So the helper function that will help us to do so is known as vstack. So we simply have to use np.vstack and within this we have to pass the arguments. So the first argument will be the given array itself which is ARR and now the second argument will be a list of elements that have to be stacked along the rows and those elements are 5 and 6. So let's execute this code to find out the output. And there we go. As you can see that we have the elements 5 and 6 stacked along the third row of the given 2D array. Now we have to stack the elements 7, 8 and 9 along the columns. And to do that, we have to use another helper function of the NumPy library, which goes by the name column underscore stack. So let's visualize how we can do that. ARR equals np.stack, rather it should be np.column underscore stack. And within this function, we will pass a list of arguments such that the first argument will be ARR, that is the given array itself. And then we have to pass the elements which we want to stack along the columns. So those elements are 7, 8 and 9. So let's feed in the values 7, 8 and 9 and that's it. Now when we execute this piece of code, it should generate the resultant output. So let's execute this and there we go. As you can see that we have the expected output. So this is how you can use the helper functions vstack and column stack to stack the elements along given columns and rows or in other words, stack them vertically and horizontally in a given array. Now, one other way to solve this question is to use the insert method from the NumPy library. Now, insert is a function of the NumPy library, which is used to insert values in a NumPy array along a given axis. So let's see how we can use the insert method and extend the given array such that we have this output. So we have the given array ARR. So let us first go ahead and insert the values 5 and 6 along the third row. This also means that we will be inserting the value at the row which is at the index 2. So indexing starts from 0. Hence the third row will have the index 2. And this is important to understand because we will be using this index now to insert the value into the third row. So let's go ahead and do that. We have ARR and now we will be using the np.insert method and within insert we will feed in certain arguments. The first argument is the given array itself which is ARR and the second argument will be the index of the row at which we want to insert the values. So the index as I mentioned just now is 2. Okay. So we have now successfully mentioned the index. Now the next argument will be the values that we want to feed in to this row. So we have to use the attribute values and then feed in the values which are 5 
and 6. Finally, we have to pass the value of the axis which will determine whether we want to insert these values at the rows or at the columns. And as we learned previously that whenever axis is 0, then Python will insert those values along the rows. So axis equals 0. Well, that's it. Now let's go ahead and print ARR and let's find out if these values were successfully inserted at, at the row at the second index. And there we go. We have successfully inserted 5 and 6 at the row with the index 2. So we have the values 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5, 6 currently in this given array. Now our task is to insert the values 7, 8 and 9 along the second column or the column which has the index 2. So we will be using a similar piece of code. So let's copy this and now let's visualize the changes that we have to make in the arguments passed to the insert method. The first two arguments will remain the same because now we are inserting the values to the given array ARR and the column which will be at the second index. But the changes will appear in the values that we feed in. So these values are 7, 8 and 9. And finally, we have to specify the axis as 1 to indicate that we want to insert these values along the column. So that's it. Then we simply go ahead and print ARR. And now let's execute this code to find out if we have this as the output. We have successfully extended the given array by inserting the elements 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9 to the given array. So this is how you can use the insert method to solve this question. Well, before we wrap this up, there is another way using which you can concatenate two given arrays. So let's say that you have been given two arrays such that the arrays are ARR underscore one, which has the elements one, two, three and four. And then we have another array which goes by the name ARR underscore two and it has the elements 5, 6, 7 and 8. Now we want to merge these two arrays such that when we merge them across the columns, then this should be the output. And when we merge them across the rows, then this should be the output. So in order to achieve these outputs, we have to use a method of the NumPy library known as concatenate. So let's go ahead and let's concatenate these two arrays along the columns to get this output. So let's say that the resultant array after concatenating both the arrays is ARR. And now we have to use np.concatenate method. And within this, we have to pass few arguments. First argument will be a tuple containing the two given arrays which are ARR underscore one and ARR underscore two. And the second argument will be the axis which will determine whether we want to concatenate these arrays along the columns or the rows. Since we want to concatenate these arrays along the columns, hence the value of axis in this case will be one. So let's execute this piece of code. And before that, let's print ARR. So let's execute this to find out if we have this as the output or not. And there we go. As you can see that we have successfully concatenated both the given arrays along the column. Now let's say that we want to concatenate these arrays along the rows such that we want this to be the output. So the process is quite similar. You just have to make a single change within the concatenate method such that the value of axis will now be zero instead of one. So when axis is zero, then these two arrays will be concatenated along the rows. And that's it. We simply go ahead and print ARR. And now let's see if we have this as the output or not. So let's execute this. And there we go. As you can see that we have successfully concatenated the two arrays along the rows. With that, we come to the end of this video. I hope this helped you. If you have any doubts, please mention them in the comments below and I'll try my best to answer all your queries. Thank you.